welcome back to the Divine Feminine Update that we do cover weekly. If you do wish to get this content ahead of the crowd, we do have this premiered in the members a week ahead of schedule from the main page. Very separately, we do have Discord at the top level and we chat with you guys daily as well as you get the support of other Twin Flames. We also have lives every Friday if you want to come through and you notice the videos along it is because we have super chats after the schedule. Let's have a look at your read. Now I do see for someone, I'm going to pull some clarifiers because a lot of this has to do with maybe belief in yourself and, you know, how actually powerful you are. You could have some nervousness to do with your position in the world. You might be questioning um, where you're going. There could be some sense of purpose transition that you're physically having this week in the mix moving into February. Now, for some of you, this can be career-based. I'll just, I'll just be perfectly honest. They're too matter-of-fact and to the point. Um, my guides chose this deck this week. Um, so a lot of it is coming through to do with employment, to do with career, but it's also purpose. And I'm really saying from the crowning energy, your divine um, magic um, in your life, you're kind of like, you know, worthiness is coming up, especially in the context of this twin flame path and, you know, wanting to be with your twin, you're looking at that purpose. I feel some of you... Um, with certain decisions that you were needing to make in your life, especially where your twin flame path stands right now, there could have been other things that went by the wayside. And I feel, and I've been hearing this all month, it's time to pay the ferryman. You know, when we do move into a new year, generally speaking, we look at January and it's like theoretically it's the new year, but it doesn't quite feel like it. It's almost like we're clearing out, you know, the old crap from the year before. I feel you're trying to, um, you ha you've had a revelation. This revelation could be, okay, I need to, I want to do better this year. Are we going to have a little bit more success? I do feel we are. Um, it doesn't mean to say in the media that we're not going to see some um, very eye-opening things, but this, this is a huge process. This is a huge um, change that we're going through. And it's like, I, I just say this totally and wholeheartedly, um, this is part of history. We're, we're living part of history at this point in time, and I do feel spiritually um, there's some major decisions that Divine Feminine is actually making. I think you're having a revelation that you need to make some solid changes in your life, and it, it could be to do with excitement, purpose, there also can be this feeling that you are leaving a soldier behind if you have to make certain choices. Um, and I don't necessarily feel that as so. It's just it's how it's how we feel at this point in time. Um, I do feel you're trying to love yourself. I feel you're trying to um, <clears throat> be the best version of yourself. What is this to do with, please? Uh, this could be ill feelings, ill feelings that you were having, you know, down in the dumps. So I do feel those of you that have a loved one on the other side, they are with you, they're guiding you. They're actually saying, you know, uh, we do the best with what we have. There could be an anniversary of a passing for some of you. This could be of the person's birthday. Um, again, it could be the time and you're feeling okay. Do I need to let this go? I do feel there is also a divine masculine showing up in your own style. Some of you are wondering whether this can be fixed. But I also feel in a personal circumstance, you know, you could be excited at the same time as um, a bit nervous. I do feel some of you are going to get pay rises but it's through direct action, hard work and bold decisions. Yeah, it's almost like you feel, you you know, it's where we go from the space of believing powers outside of ourselves and then realising, okay, I, get it. I need to get up and I need to, you know, tie my shoelaces um, just like Nike, tie them, get up and go. <clears throat> There could be universal help here, but I also feel you want to take direct action. So funny, my throat chakra is going all of a sudden. <clears throat> There's a hesitation here. 
Yeah, some of you were very matter of fact. You're like, okay, look, hey, Sarah, Sarah, let's move, let's go. Um, there is a whatever you're going through, there is this dark energy. It's like a dark cloud. Um, you're coming through as divine magic, and I feel it's almost like the magician energy. I do feel there's gonna be a light bulb moment. I do feel that there's healing. But I also feel something is transforming here, and it's going to be quite a positive thing, especially in your twin flame path. I, I feel there's a rebirth there. Uh, many people have asked me, you know, what does union look like? And a lot of times, you know, seriously speaking, what I'm seeing coming through in this read, you know, linking back to my own twin flame path, a lot of times it can look like detachment and disillusionment. And what, is that, what does that look like? Oh, well, it's not going to be, so I've got to move on. That's how it can look. It can really be like, you know, um, I've looked at this so many ways. Maybe they're going to come back. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, it can be don't sell my house, don't change jobs, stay stuck. Um, I don't feel divine feminine this year is staying stuck. I think anything that they haven't addressed, they're dealing with it, be it it's reconnecting with people. And I think this is actually triggering um, the transformation. Okay. Yeah, you don't know the value you are. You don't know the wealth that you've learned. Um, you're coming home to yourself, and I feel usually this is divine feminine reaching peace with herself, and I'm saying her, it doesn't have to be a her, you know, accepting that there's good and bad in any day for good and bad people. <clears throat> yeah, trying to put the past behind you. Okay, let's look at the foundation. What is the foundation of the situation that's playing out right now, please? Okay, somebody's coming in to help you, but at the same time, I'm hearing that the karmic actually is helping you. You don't need to do anything in the mix of that. Okay, somebody wants to help you. Think of whom this might be and initiate contact you know sometimes it can be there's there's a group of friends here and i feel some of you are going to reconnect with friends i feel there could be a group venture i feel this could be just a casual chat with a girlfriend um or a friend point blank zero um they can synchronistically come up into your mind and sometimes it can mean that they're going through something quite similar to what you are i also feel tribe energy is very supportive which uniquely you know we do have a tribe here on youtube um, especially in the Members Hub where we can really express how we feel, the good, the bad and the ugly, um, without any judgment and the support and experience of other twins that have been on the path for a long time. So there is that vibration here coming through in the reading at a foundation level. I do feel some of you are connecting with individuals. I also feel a friend is an advocate. Um, they could be bringing you some information that could be quite important. It could be quite positive. And I don't, for some reason, I'm really feeling you're going to get some information that something wasn't quite as it seemed. They're asking, yeah, so, oh, I'm telling you, this is to do with karmic. My guides are making reference to, are you viewing the wound or the reality of the circumstance? Um, the wound could be, hey, and I'm not saying that by any means this is so. This is an example. This person's got the gold and I have nothing. I didn't get anything out of it. They're, they're in full bliss. They're happy. But it's what's under the surface that we don't see. So there's a falseness. There's something maybe that you've seen on social media that isn't completely true. And it's upset you. It's made you feel that that person is stuck. But somebody's trying to do this to put a spanner in the works. Yeah, you don't quite know what to do in the mix. And yeah, that, that's causing detachment. I also feel in your purpose sense that you're moving towards, you're trying to work out what to do. Um, this could be in your life. It could be with career transition, maybe to do with moving home. There's something major, though. There's something major that 
Um, you're not realizing the power is in your hands. You could still feel a little bit pixelated, like you don't know what way to go. You don't know how to handle it. In the back of your mind, I see divine masculine. You want justice. You want something. You want to make a decision, but you also want judgment to go in your favor. I feel there could be movement. This could be quite suddenly, and I'm feeling it could move into the um, first week of February for some reason. Some of you are instinctually feeling to do with the major choice that you need to make. You need to wait. Yeah, you need to wait. Um, don't leap. Don't leap if you're not sure. Think on it because something's transpiring behind the scenes at the moment to go in your favour. Yeah, this is going to go in your favour. We do have masculine and feminine showing up here. And we do have the phoenix rising, but it's somebody is catching up to you. And I don't, hmm, am I getting a bad vibe towards that statement? No, I, I, I feel you could be nervous about that. It's definitely something you want. But the hero's journey here is happening. And I do feel as we have planets moving direct, especially moving into the first two weeks um, of February, I feel things are going to ease up and you are going to get that forward movement. Don't freak out if communication hasn't come in. There's something going on behind the scenes. But I do feel some of you, you need to ponder a situation and it is a new chapter. It could feel like, okay, I need to pull some things out of my life. I need to shift things around. Um, if you had been having some, you know, concerns about your abilities in your life and your stability, I feel you're going to be able to address them. But I also feel divine timing is at play. And when I say that, I don't feel. Uh, there was one term that I really hated, and that's a large word. Twin actually told me that years ago. He goes, hate is a very strong word, Jules. Um, So I did refrain from using it, but there has been a few instances in life I will look at him and say, no, I actually really mean it. <laughs> so the divine timing element that has been shown to me, I feel it's more at an intuitive level. If you're ready to make a major decision, I think you're operating with your guides at this point and your instincts are on point and you're needing to pause on it, but you're trusting your instincts. We will check back with this, but I do think something supply and don't be, don't be shocked if you get some sudden like meetings, conversations, bump ins, because I even feel into the first two weeks of February, there's something really big going down. Love and light, I will see you during the week. Do come through and join our members if you want to get this content ahead of the crowd and the perks that go with it as well as support. And we are live every Friday. If you need a quickie reading and not a long one, um, I can give you the super chat directly after the live session for the joint energy. Otherwise, you can go to the website for a personal booking and I will see you on the other side.